the 4th of July Independence Day celebrations in the U.S. are synonymous with huge firework shows. But the city of Boston stands out from other destinations because they are the originators of this proud tradition and in many ways the city of champions remains the trend center for spectacular rocket displays. Way back in 1973, David Mulger proposed a novel way of rejuvenating the Espelande concert, which was struggling to capture the people's imaginations. After a discussion with the head of the Boston Pops Orchestra, Arthur Fielder, his brainwave was to combine music with a new spectacle. This included playing Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture and adding some very loud surprises. The next year's festivities went off with a huge bang and with the addition of howitzer cannons, rockets, and the ringing of church bells. This signaled the birth of the modern day firework display as Fielder wanted to create a spectacle that sounded like the gates of hell had broken loose over the Charles River. And now, Four decades later, the Boston Pops firework extravaganza is strong, going stronger than ever and is widely regarded as the only place to see fireworks on the 4th of July. Hundreds of thousands of people make the journey from all over America and from further afield to stand on the banks of the river and celebrate the birth of the nation. But this number is dwarfed by the number of people who tune in on TV. Over 7 million people watch the one-hour broadcast on CBS every year. The Boston Pops have a rich and varied history, having branched off from the Boston Symphony Orchestra in 1885. Although most of their musicians are affiliated with the BSO, they approach their music with a more contemporary style, with particular emphasis on light, classical, and popular music. We'll catch you in the next vid.